the skid steer can't quite pick these up, but at least it can slide them around. So it's going to be a little bit before those are before I'm ready for that. Levi and Cody, we must go upstairs. All right, the project at hand today, this is like the seventh video on a series of videos regarding putting this roof over this building. So the previous videos covered putting up all this metal work, doing this concrete pour, setting these spancrete panels. So what I'm starting today is putting up block. So there's gonna be cinder block just like that there that goes from that point over to here, out to there, across, across, and over to there. That will make this like a cool little deck space out here. And then another cool little outside deck area right there keeping with the castle theme of the building. So I have all the materials here. There's all the block right there. And let's uh, start bringing stuff up. Right, Cody? Right? How you doing? What a good boy you are. Such a good dog. Is this your buddy over here? Is this Levi? All right, and Levi and Cody are here to supervise. Hey guys.
was easy. Let me put one more pallet up there. I was gonna start mixing it, but it's like, might as well just have all the stuff up there. All right, so since it's late in the day right now, let me just do a few mixes by with the wheelbarrow. I got that skid steer mixer, which I'm sure will come into play on this project, but you know, more you don't need that much mortar for All right. Hey Cody. If you make it too wet, all you gotta do is add more mortar. It's almost kind of quicker to make a really sloppy mess. And then add mortar to get it where you want it.
Cody just uh, reminded me that we need some drains in these blocks. So let's uh, get working on that. It's for metal cutting right there. Check that blade out. I like, I like the 80s monster truck on it. This wants to cut. This is gonna go that way. Took a minute. That's on there though. Now that blade can cut wet or dry. If you want no dust, hook it up to water. Got a lot of extra blocks, so. All right, let's give this Harbor Freight pallet jack a decent test here. Remember, the IHI couldn't pick up these pallets. 
Oh, come on. I mean, it's picking it up. Oh. All right, if that wasn't on a pile of gravel right now, I picked it right up. All right, Cody, let's lay some blocks, Cody. Gravity, right, Cody? Cody, you eating the concrete? Buddy, you helping? See how much less dust this makes. And took the water. See, when you buy blocks, you get two different types. These ones here, see the difference? These are the ones that you cut in half because all you gotta do is cut it here and here, and you get you know half of the block. These ones that wouldn't work like that. Oh, I guess these are easier for making drains though, because I cut. Um, and our and plus these ones, when you get, do a corner, these look a lot better on the end. See, when you leave that on the end, it looks sloppy. I've never had a problem welding through a little bit of rust or a little bit of paint. Can't weld through concrete though.
hear a crack in your neck. The whole thing is boards on the bottom. Let's just try harder. That tall forklift is really cool. When I brought these blocks up here, I did it with the wrong type of forklift that didn't even reach. I mean, it helped, but it was... All right, I worked well into the dark tonight. Time for a Cody concrete footprint. You ready? You ready, buddy? I wish Levi was here too. We could go get Levi's fine. We just gotta go get him. All right, ready? You don't want to do this, but you're doing it. All right, that looks like a dog footprint. using a pallet jack try not to slide your pallets around in the mud or the gravel
Cody, you, is, you find out about your tail? What is that? Cody, what is what is this right here? Let me show you something, Cody. What's what's that right there? What is that? What is that? It's your tail.
All right, my dad's actually coming to help today. Hey, Cody, who's here? Is Levi here? And, and Lacey? That looks good. How's that dog? He's good. your feet are it's the biggest feet so the way I got this I got rebar welded um, every other block and then towards the top I got the Dura wall same thing down there rebars welded and rebars coming up from the bottom hey Lacey Alright, you know what would be stronger than just rebar in the corners? 
if the whole thing had a stinger rebar. All right, so I'm gonna drop that. I notched every block. It'll weld those together. And we're gonna throw the dirt wall on there too. So now I have a continuous ring of rebar around the entire top course of blocks where it's, where it's and it's even welded to the ends. I even welded it to that post right there because it was right next to it. All right, so now it's time to fill these blocks. I think a uh, way to make it easier to fill, I want to make some type of funnel so I don't have to be so pre precise dumping it in here. Regular blocks would be fine. See, the blocks are like that. So I can't, all right, let me just, there, that's fine. Do. done so the idea here is that just makes it easier to pour concrete in these blocks and you know I just slap that together quick out of this is extra roofing material which I have a mountain of you know weird pieces and then I can just slide it right along I could have made that bigger too like if I was doing a bigger wall where I was using my crane bucket or a pump truck like this could have been bigger and it but I, I'm, I'm just, I plan on just pouring these by hand with a bucket, but that just makes it that much easier to pour them in. Start in the uh, corners to do a nice uniform thing. So it's pretty much should be half block, one, two, one, two. Just like I did up on the tower there. Look at the little bit of landscaping I just did there. A little bit of mulch, few daffodils, and a couple fake flowers. I like fake flowers because you know why? They look good. If I didn't tell you those were fake, you wouldn't know. And they look good all year, even in winter time. I had nice flowers all through the winter. Blocks nice and wet. Blocks are thirsty. Alright, this stuff's gotta go on now.
Every one of these is getting a piece of rebar. All right, it's time to mix some concrete now. So here's our pile of sand. There's our pile of gravel. And here's the wheelbarrow we're gonna be mixing it in. So let's see if this will start up. buckets gravel two buckets sand but there's too much in here to mix this let me i'm gonna dump this out mix it on the ground then load half of it back in
we need a little more than a half of a bucket. Those are perfect. All right, I'll just leave that right up there because I'm going to need to take that empty bin back down. Definitely get one of these tall forklifts. This thing is really cool. It's like it's like the crane, but you don't need two people. Like the crane is like a always a two-person. All right, the crane is like 90% of the time a two-person operation. And the second person needs to have half a clue what they're doing. But the, that, that thing is just by myself, no problem.
I'm definitely mixing the next one wetter. Cody. Hey Cody, we got a lot of blocks to fill here, buddy. Alright, this is just mortar here. All right, so this is what I got done last night. One of my this was one of my friends came over and we got all the blocks full to there and used up that whole dump truck load of concrete. Putting these on takes some time, so let me work on that today. And I was just sticking the rebar in, and then the ones we got cut off.
Cody, do you know it's lunch time? Is it, is it pizza time? Yes. Yes, it's pizza time.
sweep the floor. See, he doesn't let me. <laughs> all right, we got all the blocks done. I'm just trying to clean up. But Cody has other ideas. So I'm at the point where the block work is all done. So I got Levi and Cody up here to inspect it, doing a lab inspection. Right, guys, look how big Cody's getting. He's like the same size as Levi now. And he was just like a little puppy. Seems like a month ago. Well, so here's all the walls done. Eight inch thick solid concrete. Rebar and every single thing. The Dura wall and rebar going this way. So that should be super strong. Cody, are you inspecting things or are you just kind of bugging Levi? All right, so the next thing on this project, I got a little more welding to do up on the roof. I am welding all the seams completely solid. And uh, I've got it like one third of the way done. But the weld, you know, it's kind of tedious. It's just welding like hundreds of feet of just seems it's easy it's just a lot of work i saw there's like these track welders available that can kind of automate the whole process so if any companies have that and want to reach out to me that'd be cool <laughs> uh, but if, if not i'll get it done it's just probably a good four days up there and the other thing i want to do i got to build some kind of wall over here but i do love the uh, ability to be able to forklift things up here so i may even put a garage door or something and I got all that bluestone right there. I definitely want to use some of that, like, in veneer some stuff up here. I'm... Levi, is he chewing on you? Cody, you're a little rough on him. A little bit. <laughs> is he your best friend? You guys are best friends. All right, well, done with this masonry stuff. So let me get this down and uh, get back on that welding. And I think I'm going to do this entire wall out of steel too, I think just to match the roof. I may make the whole thing out of diamond plate. <laughs> 